You know, it really kind of goes without saying that Christmas 2020 is very different from 2019, 2018. This year has been so unique. It's an election year. There's been a pandemic. And for those of us living here in little itty bitty Gulf Breeze, Hurricane Sally really did her worst in separating us from our main community of Pensacola. There's been so much that's gone on this year in our area that can cause us to feel, well, a little out of control, to, to wonder who's in control. Well, let me read to you a, a classic Christmas passage from the book of Isaiah chapter nine about Jesus and truly what this Christmas season means about who's actually in control. Listen to the book of Isaiah from the New Living Translation, Isaiah chapter nine, starting in verse six. For a child is born to us, a son is given, and the government will rest on his shoulders. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of heaven's armies will make this happen. We so look forward to that day when Jesus returns and literally and physically rules and reigns here on earth. But we also can be reminded that in his first coming, the coming of Christmas, that Jesus, because of his life, death, burial, and resurrection and ascension, well, he's now been given all authority in heaven and on earth. He is the one that's in control. You see, Christmas season 2020 doesn't catch our great leader, our great King Jesus by surprise. He's in control. So let me remind you this Christmas season to let the joy of the Lord be your strength and to be reminded that this Christmas, truly a King has been born and we worship a loving, risen Savior.